Okay, I call the uh, Judiciary Licensing and Personnel Committee to order at 7.03 uh, with just one item on the agenda today, and that is to take up a special permit request um, by School of Rock for an event they are seeking to have in October. Um, are you going to have any conversation about this? Is there anyone from the village or are we just having internal? Okay, mm -hmm. uh, so trustees, any anything that you wanna talk about with this? Now it looks like camp and uh, raw house are gonna be sort of anchors of this that would be helping out with like drink and food. Mm -hmm. Um, because they've both um, applied for liquor license, is that correct? Yeah, that's what it looks like to me. Yeah, that's great. I, I think, you know, I think our, you know, big goal that we've always had, I mean, my time on the bid, and I know you're a bit liaison now, is that, um, you know, camp or uh, Three Lines has a lot of events in there. They're, they're kind of been a big focus down on that side of Oakland, whereas, you know, you know, we've been looking, the bid has been looking to do a little bit more like to to energize that that side of the the, uh, the business district. I, I know that the campus had like the Packer opening Packer party on that Sunday. Mm -hmm. So following the feast, I, I assume they're doing it this year, but every, maybe, they, maybe they've moved it, I forget. But, um, but every year they basically do the Packers party. Right. And uh, so this year, it seems like this will be an event that will be kind of utilizing both of those camp and uh, broadhouse, which is going to be, I think, a lot of fun. Plus, it's just another excuse to go outside. And uh, yeah, I'm going to vote against it this year because now I live right there, and it's going to be way too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! And I'm going to bring all my neighbors. Oh boy! Oh, yes. I'm going to be one of those neighbors. Yeah. Now. Good. Good. Um, well, you heard, I guess, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think this is great. I'm all for more events. Um, my only questions for discussion here um, are the ones that we're looking, um, you know, to get some clarity on. That uh, it sounds like um, there were. So, should we recommend the permit to the board? Um, we needed to specify if there's a desire for additional police presence, and if so, whether those expenses would be paid for by the applicant. Um, so I think that's something um, it would be great if mm -hmm. Chief Ward could let us know. Um, Is there doesn't, no request in them, right, in this? It, in this no. it, I don't see anything. It says police it, it services state, request, right? No. Uh, I thought I saw it earlier. It's daytime, right? Yeah. Yeah, until seven. So mm -hmm. and a couple the... hundred people. So I don't yeah. think that it it doesn't seem to me that it would need an additional um police presence, um, other than you know, they didn't ask for it. Um, but you know, if that's something where the chief sees this and is like, oh, well, you know, 200 people on the street, we definitely need to be there, but to me, it doesn't seem like something that would require an additional presence mm -hmm. up front. Yeah, and the only other thing is, I mean, that's a pretty busy sort of corridor in like leading into, you know, I'm just playing devil's advocate at this point, but uh, the, it's a busy corridor leading Capitol into Oakland and to close off that and then to close out Walgreens, I'm sure we are going to get a fair share of complaints about that, even though people probably go around the back side and then in the back yeah um you know I, I you know I, i'm going to vote yes on this per chief Ward's recommendation for police presence i think they i think they can get away with probably their own security they probably are you know we've done that in, in years past with bit events where where uh, bars have supplied security and uh, i would assume that with both of those bars they would probably supply something or other i don't see it in this application maybe i'm just not seeing it but uh That'd be something to talk to the chief with, chief about. I think it's especially sensitive because there's so many issues around these big events and things happening. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I think, you know, I'd rather be more safe than than sorry in a situation like this. Then, with especially with children. Right. So I think um, 
So we have uh, for the by JPNL a permit from School of Rock. Uh, they are going to be having a Rocktoberfest event uh, that they would like to. Um, closing down, sorry, the streets are, oh yeah, perfect, got it. So closing down Capitol to Kenmore Place, mm -hmm. you know, so that Walgreens, the, the beginning of that kind of corridor all the way to Walgreens. There's 12 to 7 is the event. They're anticipating two to 300 people. The question before us at the committee is, they didn't request uh, any police services. Does an event of that size in that area strike you as something where we might need an additional presence? Yes. Okay. It's during the day as well. No, it ends at 7. Yeah, still though, I mean, that volume of traffic and then you're still contending with, um, you know, end of business day and we don't have pedestrian traffic, um, school. So, traffic, more concern. Yeah, like I safety. mean, you're closing down a major thoroughfare yeah. here yeah. for, for uh, so, I mean, I'm, I'm not overly concerned about the safety of the event itself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but it wouldn't hurt to have police presence there and it hasn't been requested. So, um, I mean, we would still show up, but if it's requested, yeah. it's billable and. Yeah, people coming that are used to turning left onto Oakland from Capitol. Yeah, that, I guess that would be the one. Right. Yeah. I think yeah, you're going to want to some traffic. Yeah, and I think they're the doing this. The left turn lane. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And I think they're they're doing it like this because they really want to utilize both bars, cat, mm -hmm. camp, and the broad house. Sure. They don't want to leave them out, either one of them out, and uh, do an event like this. So, because uh, ideally, if like you could go up the street a little bit and use the Elmdale, I think if if you could close it from like Elmdale up and just have that like block, that would be that would make a lot of sense. But I think they're pushing it a little bit to try to get broad yeah, house here, you know, involved from a business perspective. They don't want to leave one without the other. So. Um, but I think that that's going to really kind of it's going to hurt Walgreens. It's the Walgreens thing is going to be a nightmare because people are you're going to have a lot of seniors. You have a lot of people just trying to get to Walgreens. They're not they're not going to be able to do it easy enough. Correct. Right. And they're going to be really frustrated. So we're going to get a lot. Of, I assume we're going to get a lot of complaints on this particular event. But you know, I'm, I'm for it. I, I I'd like to you know see see how, how it works the first year, but. Uh, um, should we go back to them and ask them to, to catch up with you? And um, well, I I mean I thought to do this. Yeah, I definitely. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know Fernando briefed me about it a little bit. There's a number of things that they need to follow up on. Okay. Um, including you know asking the neighborhood for feedback, and mm -hmm. um, I think there were some other things that. Yeah. Right. Uh, but it may not, you may consider specifying that canvassing requirement that the state talks with the Walgreens. Yeah. And oh, it's definitely. Yeah. 100%. Okay. Um, and we're happy to have a conversation with you. Okay. Okay. So I think we can, we can recommend this to the full board contingent on them. Canvassing the neighborhood. Canvassing the neighborhood. Walgreens. The portable toilets and that they um, will have to cover the additional expenses for police presence at the event. All right, per Chief Worth's recommendation or Captain Santiago, who will be with you. Okay. Well, is there a motion then, or is there any further discussion? I think we discussed a motion again. Would you like to try that? Sure. I'm just trying to <laughs> organize the additional bits here. So um, I move to recommend approval of the special event and cabaret permits for school track on October 1st, 2022, um, with um, payment of additional fees for public works and police and uh, pursuant to um, inclusion of portable toilets with hand washing stations, uh, discussion with Walgreens 
on redirecting their customers and um, canceling the neighborhood. Residents and other businesses. Residents and other businesses. Does that sound okay? Cool. There's a second. Second. Aye. Aye. All right. Uh, then pass it unanimously, and uh, there a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Thank you so much. Run now before you. Before <laughs> you, you, you guys have a great night. Have a good night. Yes. All right. So uh, welcome everybody to uh, DPW meeting. Uh, we have one agenda on the item on the on the board. We have one agenda item on the board tonight, and that is considered traffic and parking regulation program request and request for a speed table in the 4200 block of North Larkin. Um, I should say that is 716, and that is this meeting uh, been publicly noted. The meeting has been publicly noted. And it is recording. It is. Fantastic. I uh, can get a roll call. Okay, Trustee uh, Moore Baldock. Here. Trustee Lane. Here. Trustee Ersley. Here. The right there. Uh, uh, so tonight's presenter is uh, Director Bushlick. Uh, could you give us a quick uh, summarization of this request? Um, absolutely. The, this this request was submitted under the Village's Traffic and Parking Regulation Program. Um, it was a trust request for traffic calming in the 4200 block of North Larkin Street. Um, the requester, who I actually had anticipated would be here, um, specifically referenced a speed uh, bump or table um, in this area to um, in response to what he described as um, vehicle speeding on the block on a daily basis. According to the, the policy, um, DPW's elite request on signage items traffic calming items. Um, I forwarded this to the police chief and planning director of and Shrug, um, for their review. Neither um, recommended the installation of a speed table. The chief noted that there has not been a historic observed issue with speeding in this particular area. Um, from a public work standpoint, um, I actually looked at it from a, an implementation or construction standpoint. And realistically, I don't believe that this is something that really could or should be done outside of a capital budget review and request. Um, so that was really the basis for my denial. Uh, it, in the interim, Bart and I have had conversations about a, a review of this program, um, perhaps Speed table should not have been specifically identified because it, it does stretch the scope of an administrative review of signage issues. Um, and this program has been in place just about a year, so we thought it might be appropriate to bring that back um, just for review and discussion with public work. So we intend to do that at a later date, but for at this time, the staff administrative review would not recommend um, the installation of a speed table here. Under the program, the, it, it dies at that point. As mentioned, and you'll see from the email correspondence, the yeah. resident did indicate he intended to appeal and would like the committee to review it. As mentioned, I had expected him to be here today. Yeah. So. Uh, I'm, I mean, here, I saw the gentleman walk past earlier. Is there a chance that he could be? Um, I think that was, Paul, okay. Sigma, who you're going to hear from later. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, trustees, do you have any questions for, for Leanne? Um, I, 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 have one, I have one question. Um, I'll make a comment first, though, which is that um, I am not going to be supporting this. Um, it, I think it's unfortunate, you know, people are speeding all throughout the village, but as I think I've heard Director Bushlick say before, we can't engineer every problem away. Uh, and I think that is very true. Um, it, you know, people speed down my street all the time. It, it's unfortunate, but we 
practically speaking, cannot put speed tables and speed bumps up and down every single road because they won't be drivable. Um, so I think it's something that, you know, had we had we heard a safety concern from Chief, I would feel much differently. Um, but for me, I just don't think this is is workable. Um, but my question uh, is, I know this is one that's being, uh, there was an appeal and that's why we're reviewing it. Are we getting a number of other requests like this um, that are just, you know, people are getting a no and they, that's it or? Um, I would say we're running about 50% okay. on the appeal rate. Yeah. Okay. And, and to be fair, a number of them that that have come before you, I have um, kind of made the decision to do that because while under the strict guidelines of the program, you know, when I check the boxes, they kind of all add up to deny. In some cases, I believe that there have been what we would call unique or extenuating circumstances that I thought prompted a discussion by Public Works. So some of them that you have heard to this point um, normally would have been denied, but I put them in front of you. Mm -hmm. um, so I had one or two where it came in and we said, yeah, that just doesn't meet these warrants. This, and, and they said, one, well, that's disappointing, but okay. Mm -hmm. Um, well, I appreciate uh, you and your staff kind of going above and beyond to give people as many opportunities opportunities as they can to, you know, access their their officials. So thank you for that. I'm be coming in. I'm just worried about the revenue jobs. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, my mind. <laughs> Um, yeah, my thoughts on this, I mean, Larkin's not even through a street here. Right. Um, so my my main concern is that if people are speeding through that street, that it's his neighbors. And I think that would probably prompt a neighborhood discussion first and foremost. Um, I can't say I've ever driven down the 4200 block of Larkin. Um, I have many times because we have uh, some, some folks we know in the area and I have not observed uh, being there, but obviously I don't live there, so is I don't it know. You? It is not <laughs> me. I parents are trying to avoid speeding. <laughs> but I do think it's a good point that uh, Trustee Lynn brings up because we did have a request either earlier this year or last year for a stop sign on I believe it was Farwell that we denied because it was the same issue. The street dead ended mm -hmm. and you know, anyone who was running through that intersection really fast was like somebody who lived on that half a block or mm -hmm. near it. So I do think it's more of a neighborhood discussion. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, like there, like I see, I see a lot of young people flying through mm -hmm. the neighborhoods. And so to me, that's like a, you yeah. know, and we heard there's a lot of kids in this neighborhood. It might be some of those teenagers. So not to throw blame around, but you know, we want to make sure that people are. Well, there are just a handful, and, and even in that area alone, there are a handful of other streets that have, that go all the way through and go all the way to Hampton that I think would warrant a, a longer look than, than Larkin, which stops not, you know, not even at the school. So um, I think it's unfortunate. I mean, I get it. I mean, I live on Marlboro and, um, you know, that goes all the way through. Um, and we get a lot of traffic. We don't have a stop sign coming south our way, and we get a lot of fast cars coming through. It's tough, but um, yeah, I just don't think it warrants it in this case. Thank you. Uh, you know, I do sympathize with the residents. Uh, I moved in uh, north on 4105 North Morris, and uh, mm -hmm. we we're the same issue. We yeah, had we kids mm -hmm. playing in the front yard, everybody's playing baseball, they're all playing games in the front yard, they're running everywhere. The tree on the right away is like a first base and like cars are literally coming from Culver's and they're going like the next stop sign is Olive. So yeah. somehow they get like 100 miles an hour all the way to Olive, you know, um, I'm exaggerating, but yeah. you get feels like it, though. It really does. You get the point, you know. So when I was when I first moved to community, uh, the only thing in my head was speed bump, speed tape, a speed bump. And I think 
I even talked to President Ann McKay, which was a trustee at the time about like, how can we get a speed bump? But, you know, I think after talking with Leanne and really kind of going over the details and, and talking to, to, to people in the neighborhood, you know, I think, you know, we, um, you know, I, I think it's, it's something where it's not ideal, but, you know, I think the, the idea of the speed bump and trying to engineer our problems away is, is, is a tricky one and it can be very expensive and very complicated for our village. Um, I just just a couple questions. Was there any evidence submitted by by Joseph, uh, the resident? He indicated that he would he he. Let me rephrase. Um, he asked the question as to whether he would be allowed to pre present, um, and I indicated that he was. Okay. So, but he and I asked him to forward those materials to me prior to the meeting. I did not receive. Okay. Okay. Um, you know, and, and my other suggestion, if you were here, is I. You know, one thing that the police department did, you know, after we talked to him several times, they brought out a temporary speed meter, and put it on the street. So mm -hmm. you could, people could see how fast they were going. You could see how fast they were going. And I think that was, uh, you know, you what you think is 100 miles an hour is actually 35 miles an hour. You know what I mean? It's just, I think people get frustrated and and that that really exacerbates those speeds really feel like they're much, much faster than they really are. So. Mm -hmm. Um, with that said, I um, do not support uh, do not support this moving forward with this at the time. So. Maybe a little late. No, in there. Yep. We'll see soon. Um, okay. So, would anyone like to make a motion? I can also make a motion. So I, I just moved, moved to deny. I moved to yeah. I moved to follow staff recommendation, but I not recommend. I moved to follow staff recommendation and not uh, proceed with installation of the requested speed table. Okay. Good idea. Yeah. Um. I think it's listed as consider so. Yeah, we can make mine. Just oh, make it, clean. it says provide recommendation, so it technically does not. But I have this one yeah, written down. On the so table. yeah, if there's a second, I'll report it that there, way. I second it. Fantastic. Oh, there. You could have said, yeah, all day. So, well, it's been full there, yeah. Wow, yeah. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Uh, I gotta be included. I gotta make sure. Yeah, <laughs> uh, if there's no further items, which there is not, um, then uh, I'd look to uh, the adjournment. Motion order, second. So, uh, all in favor of adjourning. Aye. Aye. Uh, we uh, Department of Public Works adjourns at seven twenty nine p.m. Yeah. Thank you guys. Mm -hmm.